Well, good afternoon. We've got some projects to do today. We finally have a beautiful day to be working on stuff. And I need to get some things done outside that I haven't had a chance to do yet. So, some of the supplies that we have is some of this foam um, gap and crack filler. I'll show you why here in a minute. And we've got some caulk. And I have a new fun toy. We've got a caulk gun. So one thing that we need to do here, I'll show you, is there's a hole in the side of the house. There's actually a couple of them. One's not very big. One of them's right here. Um, right there. It's like somebody drilled that out for something, probably with the garage door opener. But what we got going on today, along with filling that little thing up, that'll take like two seconds. Um, we've got this hole in the side of the house right there. I have no clue what it is there for or anything like that. Like, I don't, I really don't know what that's there for. Maybe they ran an extension cord through, but it doesn't go all the way through the wall. So I have no clue why there's that big of a hole. So... We're gonna fill that up with some of that foam stuff and put some caulk over it. Um, yeah, should probably caulk over some of this here too. That's looking pretty rough. So, this house has its quirks. There's a lot of weird stuff. And you're just like, what's going on here? Why is this even here? So, there's a lot of DIY going on with the previous homeowner. Yeah, so we're gonna fill some holes in the house, get it ready. We did get an estimate this morning for uh, getting the house painted, and it's a it's a price that uh, it's you can't beat it. It's, it'll be good. So we're gonna get the house painted this spring or summer whenever we find the time to do it. So we gotta do a little bit of pre preparation. Bing, bada, boom. We got caulk. <laughs> this one's gonna be really easy. Not the prettiest job in the world, but I'd rather have it be sealed up and not have wood rot and look dirty. I need to find a rag. Okay. That looks a little better. Okay, now we get to play with the fun stuff. We're going to get this, we're gonna get this stuff going here. This will be interesting. I don't think we'll be able to cock over it right away. That was pretty quick and easy. Filled up the hole good, but we gotta wait like eight hours for it to uh, cure. Okay, this is our next project. We've got a pergola in the backyard and we've got this like, I don't know, 10 foot, eight foot fence just chilling here. And like it's great in concept, but um, I think the previous owners they had this as like a privacy fence because they had a hot tub over here. So the only downside is um, this is really good at blocking sunlight. And I'm standing in the yard, and the yard is like a marsh down here. Look at this, it's just super wet, and this is all just in this area. Like, it's just, it's all in this area where the sun just doesn't hit the yard because it's constantly shaded by this fence. So I think Lauren and I, we're gonna be uh, tackling this today. We're gonna just take it down and go put it in the back somewhere. But we gotta take these little hooks off that hold the flower pots, there were flower pots on this. And then we'll relocate flower pots because Lauren liked that, so. We will plant an herb garden elsewhere. Probably on that fence over there because it gets a lot of sun. So, get these off 
and the fence comes off. Got the hooks off. Got to try out the new impact driver. The thing is sick. So now, since I have to use the drill. I'm sure the wind noise is absolutely atrocious in this video, but I still haven't gotten a little fuzzy thing. But there we go. It looks a lot better. It for sure looks a lot I better. Know which one it was, so I, brought them off. I need these. Um, still soggy. You can see on the ground over here where like it's been running out. All this water has kind of like dug a hole. Kind of interesting. But I think this is a good move, and I think it makes the yard look a lot better. It kind of opens things up, makes things a little less closed off. So, I'm a fan. We're going to get a shovel. These posts that it was screwed to, they are sunk down in concrete, just like every single post in this yard, unfortunately. So, even the fence post, every post along the fence is sunk in concrete. Pergola is sunk in concrete. So, it's kind of a pain to get those out, but... We'll use a shovel, we got a sledgehammer, might as well see if we can make it work. One post down, one to go. We've turned the yard into a slip and slide. From here to there, it was all underground. So it was probably two feet in the ground. We got one to go. I think this looks really good. Honestly, I could probably just saw this off, but I'd rather just get it out. Here it comes, probably, hopefully. Almost. It feels like it's wanting to come out. That's a lot of work. Yeah, now you gotta refill the hole. Yeah. I'm gonna just leave that concrete down in there. Oh god, there are some smaller chunks. I'll fill that hole up a little bit. Okay, I just upgraded to the big camera with a microphone because I know the wind was probably really bad on the little camera. So here we go. We got the little fence out of here. It's so awesome. I'm so happy. It was a lot of work getting it done, but this guy right here was right here. And you guys can probably tell, but I mean, this is just super swampy stuff. All that concrete from the post. It's rough. But. I am super happy about this. Lauren pointed out that this might actually dry out better now without that there. Not only because the sun will be able to hit it a little better, but it will also get more wind across it now. Because that fence, it was sitting there, and it was, I mean most of the time we get south winds around here. So most of that south wind was getting blocked by that fence. 
it made it tough for that to dry out. So hopefully that'll help us get some grass growing out in this area. It's taking it one step at a time here. But we got a few more things to do. We got to get this all cleaned up and uh, we're gonna do some more exterior stuff prepping for the painting. We've got this little like shelf thing. We're gonna take that off. We got some screws up here and this. So we got little screws. I don't know what those are up there for. Probably somebody was hanging something up there at some point. So we'll take that off, cock those holes and uh, that's that's what's next. So I got this uh, I got this impact driver and drill for Christmas, and this was my first time using the impact. I've used them before, but I haven't used this Dewalt one. Holy smokes, this thing rocks. Watch how fast it takes a screw out. Boom, done. Unbelievable. Screws are still good. I'm going to keep those. Sweet. Okay. So we'll have to come back through. We'll cock all those holes. Now let's move on to this thing by the window. Let me know in the comments if you like these kind of just vlog videos where I'm just doing stuff around the house. It's kind of fun. Whoa. Okay, that was in there good. And the last screw. Boom. Looking better already. You know, sometimes you just find things around the house that, you know, on first looks, you're like, okay, yeah, hey, that looks fine. And then you get a little closer look and you're like, okay, there's something obviously not right here. Okay, I think it's looking a little better, little by little. This house, man, it's just, it's not a lot. It's, it's not big projects. I mean, the biggest project we're going to have to do is paint the thing, but that's pretty normal for home ownership. Yeah, it's just, there's lots of little projects that need to get done. I know I've got one more thing I need to caulk, and it's inside. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but uh, it needs to get done. I think it's going to be a good move. Might not be the most permanent fix, but it'll work for what we need to do, so... I'll show you guys that in a minute. I think this will be the final project for today. So this is my office where I do a lot of stuff. And um, I've always noticed that the window is like really drafty and I couldn't figure out why. Well, we opened up some windows and lifted the blinds and I started looking. I had my hand down here, right here. I'm like, I feel a breeze coming through underneath here. What's going on? So there's like some, looks like paint chipped away some wood rot looking stuff and um, I mean you can see right there there's a gap so I was like what the heck's going on here why what, why is there a gap and all that well upon further inspection there's a thing right here it just ends huh wonder what that could be well I don't know if you guys will be able to see so you see the fuzzy stops right here. So 
I think somebody broke the window and now it's got like this plastic piece. I don't know. I'm going to just put some caulk down on it and then uh, hopefully that helps keep water and moisture out from getting onto the windowsill because you can I can tell it's starting it's weathered it's got a lot of water damage it's not rotten yet so hopefully I can just get this cleaned up here and put some caulk on it and hopefully keep it watertight and uh, keep it from becoming a problem in the potential future we'll try and just get this cleaned up as best as we can and go from there that's so gross back there That looks so much better now. I think it's going to be pretty watertight and uh, wind tight, and hopefully that seals up the gap that we've been uh, letting cold air in the house all winter long with. So I'm glad I spotted that, and glad we were able to get it quick fixed pretty quick and easy. But that's all we're gonna probably be putting in this video today. So thanks for tuning in for another just random like house vlog. If you guys want to see more of these, I will for sure be doing them because I've got a lot of projects around this house to do. And we're going to eventually be tackling this room and turning it into a filming studio. I don't know when exactly we will be doing that, but it is on the list of things to do. But, you know, take it just one bite at a time, one step at a time. I'm excited. I've got all kinds of things I need to do. We've got yard work to do. We've got little things around the house. It's just a lot of like little little tedious just you know four seconds here ten minutes there kind of projects and you know those do kind of add up but I'm glad that there's nothing super seriously wrong with this house it's just a lot of little projects to do so I'm excited to see how the backyard turns out with the fence being gone and see how that changes how wet that area behind that fence was but thank you guys for tuning in you can follow me on my social media I've got Twitter Instagram snapchat and Facebook so be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. And I will catch you guys on the next video.